Hello folks, today's session of the advanced primate testing on the Granitex and Vortex coating system is as such. Um, we're using a piece of Granitex coated Vortex liner. So there's actually both products here. Um, the truck bread liner, liner is sprayed first to give superior protection. Um, then the layers of Granitex coating, you'll see that there is gray, white, hunter green, and black chips. There is also a slip resistant coating of silica beads. And um, you can do more than grade cheese with this stuff. But this would be done, worked in in a commercial application, maybe a commercial kitchen around a grease fryer where you need superior tread and, and skid resistant, uh, maybe an outdoor walkway in snow burdened areas. But uh, what the test is today is I had a couple uh, individuals inquire about uh, doing basement floors, what the thermal transfer is. I don't think it would be great, but there would be other alternatives, such as putting a layer of foam insulation down the foam board and then another layer of, uh, you know, cement board if you're doing a bathroom and trying to get a warm floor and a shower. But uh, you'll notice that we have on the ice block. It is 37 degrees. Anyway, it's a solid ice block, which I'll show. And then the transfer is not maybe 20 degrees, 57, 61. Oh, sorry about that. This wasn't the table. 45 degrees. Then we have a Coleman ice pack, of course, 32 degrees. So it gives you a little bit of um, insulation properties. Um, best thing to do is if you really wanted a warm shower floor, it's going to be raised up off the concrete anyway. Um, but we can do some alternative things to actually get the thermal barrier a little bit better. A beautiful product. Again, this is a, this would be for commercial application or extreme residential homeowner applications. Over and out. Alright, hello again, welcome back to my kitchen table to another session of the Advanced Primate Vortex and Granitex testing. Today's test involves vandalism. So, um, I was told that this stuff is pretty excellent. It's being used in quite a few uh, detention facilities, if we might say, uh, both youth and and adult. So, of course, you'll see that if we go with 100% flake, you'll see 100% flake on this tile. Um, that's Granitex over Vortex. Um, this tile is just Granitex over average fiberboard paneling. And this is done for a bid for a commercial system trying to do it under a skylight for the best light and then if they didn't want to add the black we could go with just John Deere colors but um, today's test if I can zoom in we're gonna use um, first a pen normal ink pen over the counter okay and of course we're gonna go to the dreaded sharpie so two strokes of double coat and then uh, we'll let that set up and then we're actually going to use I guess a penitentiary scribing utensil I'm going to try to touch my focus okay takes considerable force this normally would get another layer resin but, uh, let's go wiping this off oh well that was easy that was just spitting the old thumbprint um, let's go with this actually looks like a 
it's coming up. Go get a little bit more of aggressive uh, kitchen sponge. I'll be right back. Okay, class. All right, we're back at my kitchen table with the advanced uh, primate destruction test for uh, the Vortex and Granitex systems. Actually, what it is is I'm buying into this system, so I am producing uh, my own test. So this one involves juvenile delinquent protection with a couple of Sharpies and a pen. So the whole idea is that we're able to clean the product uh, with minimal ease. Okay, it's just difficult to write on it with a pen, so that's good. So, actually I know that this comes off with a wipe of the finger. Alright, so actually we're going to move on to a Sharpie. We'll go ahead and, jeez, uh, we'll do things nice. I'm sure a juvenile delinquent will not just do initials, but... Uh, so maybe, uh, I don't know why it is that young kids like to do uh, artwork at the urinal, but this would be a good idea, maybe in the urinal, commercial applications, public restrooms, so on and so forth. I know it is used in several detention facilities, um, of course, I don't know, I was a pretty good juvenile delinquent, but never thought of this stuff, but uh, if you went ahead and coded, and this is a... Uh, one of the test tiles that we did with Vortex truck bed liner. I mean, it's a ceramic tile as you would have in a bathroom, but this stuff is so aggressive that I can't even do initials in this stuff. But yeah, with an iPhone camera, folks, so bear with me. Right. And of course, another implement of destruction the old penny cutting scissors. sure that I can show it to you in person. Alright, let's get back to the order of business. Um, this is just regular table water. Because I just drank half of it. Alright. Ordinary paper towel. These are the colors that the actual Granitex coating comes in. This would be just a paint thin paint coating that would go as be the base of our granite flooring. And of course, regular water doesn't do squat. Um, but I have found out that 409 carpet cleaner doesn't work. But we have regular over the shower, over the counter denatured alcohol. Okay, we'll let that dry for a second. Majority of it came off. Might be a little hard to do with one hand, so bear with me. Actually, so I don't sit and talk to myself long, I just pause the video and I'll be back in a second. Okay, back with you. It hasn't been but a couple seconds. Um, actually, what I'm probably doing is reconstituting. You'll see. Same board, same setup. I haven't moved anything, so uh, yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Now what I'll do is I'll end up just tapering in the solvents. And actually, this has not gone through a final coat. We would normally put another gloss coat so that the flake is buried. Actually, I threw this together on my way home from my test facility that I went to. Um, and I'm yet to coat it. This is going to be a sales sample. Which we'll run. Okay, back at the test at hand. Um, actually, I just let the denatured alcohol dry. You'll see our first test corner. Um, 
the sheen is barely interrupted right there from me scrubbing uh, both red Sharpie marker, permanent marker, huh, what well, used to be permanent marker. Um, yeah, don't let this get back to Sharpie. But no, actually it has taken uh, graffiti. And the real test, after I watched just the video of it, is the, <laughs> the real test was some idiot looked like me was grinding up the tile on that surface. And again, this is yet to be coated. This is just a natural sheen of the granite text and then the flake. So I have not yet even sealed the flake in. But you can see uh, on the scissor uh, etching test, <laughs> it didn't lose any sheen there. So. And again, if you really wanted to go crazy, you could do a 100% faux granite finish. Uh, you can put this very aggressive bead on it. It would uh, be a little more difficult to vertical surfaces. Um, this is not meant for vertical surfaces because you do it upon layering um, the granite media. But uh, good test results. And oh, again, same board, still got water from where it was spilled earlier. All right, thank you. Thank you for your time. Over and out. Okay, we're just going with it. We're going real shameless now. Hey, um, explain a little bit more. We have some different coating systems that we're going to have available. Again, we have the Vortex, it takes a sprayer, the Granitex takes a separate sprayer and the Ecomeric roofing, which is uh, solar heat control, which would be to do corporate uh, and flat roofing, go straight over rubber, uh, any type of lay down roof, but um, just want to give up the heads up, heads up, appreciate it to JNS Coatings out of Michigan, which put this stuff together. Uh, again, this would be the part where I do the disclaimer, because this is not corporate endorsed by any means. They would just freak that I was even doing a testing on a test tile that I was sent home with without the, even the third coating of a particular system. So again, this was a t floor tile sample just done on a piece of uh, paneling. Normally takes a second coat, but... Uh, I was comfortable to the fact that we were going to do the test. So, appreciate it, Vortex Corporate. And um, thank you, uh, JNS Coatings. Appreciate it. Okay, here's another shameless plug for the Coral Restoration Foundation. Actually, this one is a brochure on the Adopt a Coral program where you can adopt a coral. They grow it on trees, underwater. Um, away from, you know, protected against the reef, and um, you can have your uh, personalized tag with your donation, uh, would appreciate it, it's a nice project to where they're trying to restore coral reefs by uh, planting it with epoxy putty underwater, and then uh, in a couple of years, if even that, it's probably a year's time that... Uh, the coral grows around the epoxy and you don't even see the two-part epoxy putty that you would use. But um, here's my attempt to help them out. Um, here we have a vortex coated welding hammer. My whole idea was to make it boat friendly and scuba friendly, make it lightweight. Um, and also so it doesn't rust on the boat surface. So when you come to surface, uh, you don't have a bunch of boat stains on. So. Hopefully this can be dried up in two points. Uh, we'll get the edge back on, the cutting edge, or they can just chisel it until an edge comes back on. Um, but hopefully encapsulated for life. This hammer was done in the Granitex floor covering. Um, I will probably just uh, sand them an edge on one. Um, one of the Vortex. But you'll see that this... Uh, Hopefully we'll help them out. So if you get a chance to, uh, look at...
any of the Time CNN Heroes uh, programs on our friend Ken at the Coral Restoration Foundation. I also would like to give a shameless heads up to Mr. Bob Gould, and he would be from uh, Key Largo Auto and Tire. Uh, on my trip, uh, he graciously helped me out. I'll never forget him for the rest of my life. And he was also explaining uh, the situation on the feral program, cats and uh, keys and trying to reduce feral animals in the keys. But uh, appreciate it. Um, again, spay and neuter your cat. I can tell you one of the 